This image represents the various transformations of water. Basically, water exists in three forms, ice, steam, and liquid water. When ice melts, it becomes water, and when water evaporates, it becomes steam. In the opposite way, when steam condenses, it becomes water, and when water solidifies it becomes ice. Alternatively, ice can be directly transformed into steam by sublimation, and steam can be directly converted into ice by the desublimation process. In conclusion, the three states of water have a variety of uses. This image represents the structure of an electric circuit. The battery that generates electricity is a cylindrical structure, and it consists of a positive and a negative terminal. The anode and the cathode are separated by carbon and manganese dioxide mixture and electrolyte paste. The electric bulb ignites when the electrons flow from the negative to the positive terminal in the circuit. In conclusion, this structure is used in a variety of useful appliances. This image represents the process of sugar production. In the beginning, sugarcane is crushed and juice is extracted using a machine that has a pair of rotating cylinders. Secondly, the sugarcane juice is boiled and it is allowed to evaporate in a vessel. Thirdly, the condensed liquid is centrifuged in a large vessel to obtain refined sugar. In the end, the sugar is packed into large bags to be used in a variety of sugar products. In conclusion, sugar is a basic ingredient that adds sweetness to food.
This image compares the UK's real economic growth and unemployment from 2013 to 2017. During 2013, the economic growth rate was over 8% and the unemployment rate was below 4%. During 2014, the unemployment rate increased with a dip in real economic growth. In 2015, there was a small increment in the economic growth rate and a small decline in the unemployment rate. However, from 2015 to 2017, the slowing economic growth skyrocketed the unemployment rate. In conclusion, real economic growth and unemployment were conversely related. These two pie charts compare the world's fuel source for the year 2000 and 2050. During the year 2000, the majority of energy was obtained from coal and natural gas, while oil was the third, and nuclear power was at the fourth source of energy with very little hydropower. It is estimated that, in the year 2050, most energy will be obtained from nuclear power. The coal and oil will be used in a little quantity with natural gas and hydropower the least. In conclusion, it is projected that the world will be shifting from natural gas to nuclear power as a source of energy. These pie charts compare the waste management in the Republic of Korea, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. In the Republic of Korea, 69% of the waste material is recycled, while 22% is dumped underground and just 9% is incinerated. In Sweden, the most, 55% is dumped underground, while 25% is recycled and 20% incinerated. In the UK, 82% is dumped underground, 8% is given chemical treatment, and equal percent is dumped at the sea, while just 2% is incinerated. In conclusion, the European nations rely on underground, while the Asian country Korea depends upon recycling as a means of waste management.
This line graph represents the optimal employee output by comparing performance and the level of stress. In the first part, when there is a little stress, the employee is calm and bored. When the stress level increases there is a little improvement in his output. The employee performs optimally when the stress level is maximum. During that time the employee is energized, focused and work feels effortless. In the third part, when the stress goes down, the employee feels exhausted and he feels burnt out. In conclusion, stress and performance are directly proportional. This pie chart represents the percentage of students that selected to study in various English-speaking countries during 2018. The highest number of students, 39%, chose to go to the United States, while UK is at the second most favoured destination with 31%. Third and fourth position was held by Australia and Canada with 15 and 11% respectively. New Zealand received the least international students, just 4%. In conclusion, during 2018, the universities in United States received the most international admissions, while New Zealand received the least. This image represents the distribution of waste materials in various color-coded bins to perform a proper waste management. Green colored bin is used for organic waste including waste food and garden plants. Red bin is used for general rubbish including polystyrene material, soft plastic and hygiene products. Yellow bin is used for waste materials that can be recycled such as plastic containers, glass, aluminium cans, paper and cardboard waste. In conclusion, a proper waste disposal can be achieved with color-coded bins.
This bar chart represents the literacy rate by region and gender during year 2010. Central Asia and Eastern Europe had almost 100% literacy rates, while East Asia, Pacific region, Latin America and Caribbean had higher literacy rates in males than females. In Arab states, South and West Asia as well as in Sub-Saharan Africa had the least literacy rates. In conclusion, all regions had over 60% literacy rates and except in Central and Eastern Europe, males were more educated than females. This image represents a household fridge and its contents. In the top compartment of the fridge, meat and cheese is stored, while fruits and bakery products are stored in the middle section. At the bottom, vegetables and fruit juice bottle is stored. The top section of the fridge door has almost a dozen eggs, in the middle, milk bottles, and at the bottom, a food container. In conclusion, the proper arrangement of various food items made the fridge look tidy and well organized. This image represents the process of making wooden shoes. Firstly, a wooden log is cut using a saw into a desirable block. Secondly, the wooden block is outlined using an axe. Thirdly, a knife is used to chisel down any unwanted material. Fourthly, a spoon drill is used to bore the shoe interior. In the fifth stage, a sandpaper is used to give a finishing touch to the shoe from inside and outside. In the last step, the shoe is decorated using some colors. In conclusion, a wooden shoe is completely made by hands, and the various tools give it a proper size and shape.
This image represents a cross-section of an erupting volcano through the top of a mountain. A volcano has erupted forming a conduit between the magma reservoir at the bottom of the country rock and the summit of the mountain. A crater is formed at the top, and ash cloud is expelled forming exit vents. The lava comes out from the magma reservoir passing through the conduit to the throat of the mountain, and spills out from the top towards the base of the mountain. In conclusion, new mountains, hills and rocks are formed through this geological process. The bar graph represents the percentage of adults who are overweight, from 1965 to 2015, and the pie chart shows the weight range of adults during year 2015. According to the bar chart, the percentage of people who were obese, increased from below 50% to over 70% in 50 years' time. According to the pie chart, in year 2015, 6% adults were severely obese, 34% obese, 31% overweight and just 29% of adults were healthy and underweight. In conclusion, obesity increased rapidly from year 1985 and just a few individuals remained healthy and underweight. This image represents the process for production of cement and concrete. In the beginning, cement is produced by mixing limestone and clay through the crusher and forming powder. The powder is then passed through a mixer and rotating heater. The output is ground and cement is packed in bag ready to be used. For concrete production, 15% of cement, 25% of sand, 50% of gravel and just 10% of water is mixed in a huge rotating concrete mixer. In conclusion, the process of making cement and concrete seems very easy but effective.
This pie chart represents the proportion of various takeaway options selected by Australians. The most favorite food was a Chinese takeaway, with 34%, while 26% orders were for Indian food. The Italian takeaway option was chosen by just 10%, while 9% was for British takeaway. About 3% for Thai food, and the least, 1% is for Mexican, Japanese, and Greek takeaway options. 11% Australians never ordered any takeaway and 4% were in an unknown category. In conclusion, Chinese and Indian seems to be the most selected takeaway option by Australians. This image represents the poverty cycle in the human society. It starts from a poor household that has little or no food, unclean water and no options for education or schooling. That leads to diseases, infection and left with no energy to work or acquire skills. In turn, the productivity is low, leading to low or no income at all, that results in a low self-esteem and without any personal control. Followed by more children births, with sick elderly and more dependents to feed which again ends up in an even more poor household. In conclusion, without any intervention by a welfare organization the cycle has no stop in sight.